Hello again, it's Lock Noob, and well, um, I think we're going to try and do a bit of myth busting here. So, you may have heard of key casting, it's where you would take a key, you would impression it into some putty to take a, an impression of both sides. If you did that in a clamshell like this, then you could take an impression of both sides of the key at once. Then you would heat up some low melting point metal, pour it into the mold, and then end up with a cast key, something like this, which would be able to open up the original lock. So if you'd managed to borrow a key for a short amount of time, then you would be able to take a cast of it. Now, in a comment, probably a couple of years ago now, somebody said that prisoners were able to do key casting using a mixture of baby powder or talcum powder and toothpaste and then using melted toothbrush to cast a key that works. Now, that just sounds so cool that I have to try it. I can't imagine how a prisoner would get hold of a key and, and, and how that would ever come about, but it sounds like a, an awesome myth to try and, and replicate. So what do we have? Well, instead of low melting point metal, we've got some form of plastic. So that's that one. Instead of putty, we're going to do a mixture of talc and toothpaste. So that's uh, the talc and toothpaste here. And then, of course, what we need is we need some kind of clamshell. And I suppose you could use anything, but I'm going to just use some um, uh, this, this plastic container just because I'm thinking if I cut it in half, which I don't think is not feasible, I think it's feasible to get hold of something like this and then cut it in half, we do have then a clamshell. Um, this could get really messy, but I'm willing to give it a go. Mm. I've got no idea how much I'm going to need, so I'm just going to make like a lot um, <laughs> and see where we get to. I'm going to have to slowly incorporate uh, talcum powder into this, aren't I? It's going to go everywhere, so this could take some time. I'm just going to mix it until I have something which looks like a putty. I'm sure that a resourceful prisoner could get hold of something to stir with. Actually smells surprisingly nice, like minty um, talcum powder. <laughs> Slightly floral and minty at the same time. And it looks nice, doesn't it? It, it looks like that kind of like um, uh, silicon gel stuff they use for casting teeth. I've got no idea. I guess I keep adding this. I'm, I, I'm, I'm get it sort of right, can't I? Through doing this, I can always add more or less. Oh, it feels like it's coming together like a gel. I wonder how this is going to turn out. I wonder if it's possible to like get something which is firm enough that I could take a key cast. That'd be awesome. This is taking so much talcum powder up, but you can see that it's coming together a bit like a, a putty. I don't want to make it too dry. It's got to be mouldable. Um, it's still a bit sticky. We'll keep going. I've added about half of this, but I've got to a situation where it feels a bit like a putty, and I can always probably add some water to this if it gets too dry. But I'm going to stop it there because I don't want it too dry because it won't take an impression. Um, but it feels like a it feels like a putty, a really nice minty floral. Putty. Uh, let's take a key and just see if it can. I mean, it's not brilliant, but it might hold it. It might hold it. It might. Um, all right. Let's. That's part one. Okay. That's part one. Now I need to get some ventilation going and see whether uh, a standard toothbrush can be melted into something liquid. I don't think I'm going to cast it. I think I'm going to do it in two halves. And then and then see what we can do. So yeah, uh, that's that's our toothpaste and talc putty. Let's let's see if we can melt some toothbrushes. Okay, let's see whether I can get some drips of plastic, or whether it's just going to set on fire. Like I said, very well ventilated room. Do not do this at home at all ever. Really, do not. No, 
Mm, let's hope you. It gets sticky and very smelly, but that's really about it. I'm wondering whether that's it's this sort of plastic is going to be too hard to melt. Um, I suppose we could use toothbrushes, or instead we could use the tops of milk. I'm assuming that uh, it's possible that you could probably get some milk tops. Okay, let's see whether I can take a cast of the key. I've managed to chop these, uh, this little mint container in half. Again, I'm sure a resourceful prisoner will be able to do that even if it's grinding away at one side. And let's put in some of our, our putty. Let's get this all spread in. Okay, I think that's looking all right, isn't it? Sort of, ish. That's even better. Right, let's see if we can get a smoother finish on this one as well. Something like that, perfect, perfect, right. Then let's put a sprinkle of powder on, just to give it a, a smooth surface, which hopefully won't stick to the key on one side. And then we'll get the key, which I'll clean up a bit because um, <laughs> we put it in something earlier, and just see whether I can get an impression on one side at least. Yeah, and let's flip it over and try the other side. And we've got something. Now we just need to uh, melt some plastic in here, I guess. Which sounds awful, but we'll give it a go. I got these uh, tops of a milk bottle. Again, I'm assuming a resourceful prisoner will be able to get hold of something like that. And we're going to chop this up and put it into a foil-lined uh, thing to to heat up and see if we can melt the plastic and then pour at least pour it into these these molds somehow. I've even got the the top part of the bottle so I can maybe even chop that up to use. Get it to start melting relatively easily. But I'm going to sort of heat it from the bottom and see whether I can get this plastic to sort of melt down into a soup. So this plastic is sort of melting but not quite. Um, it's it's not great, I'll be honest with you. Uh, I'm not 100% convinced by this at all. Um, yeah, uh, and this is really hot as well. It just isn't melting the way I, I, I like, so I'm going to abandon this idea. I'll accept that maybe even my mold isn't right, so I'm gonna assume that a resourceful prison has got hold of a whole different type of mold, and it's just gonna be uh, more firm. Maybe they've got hold of a, an old mint tin or something like that. I'm guessing here, I'm guessing. I'm desperate to try and see whether I can at least take a cast that works out of this toothpaste putty. Come on, it's gotta work, it's got to work. Okay, sprinkle of talc, give it a smooth. Get the key, pop it in. Right, so, so, so far, apart from my mold was rubbish, let's just see and I can't get the plastic to melt, let's just see whether I can at least take a cast of a key using uh, the toothpaste and talc trick. So there we go, so a nice squeeze like that. Open it up and hope for the best. Looks good that side. Looks okay that side. Okay, okay. Now, let's make that channel for air. And then we heat our metal up and we try one more time. All right, got it over my little tea light here to keep it all ready. I'm just going to make a little funnel in that side and one that side. Close it together, push and let's go. I've got no idea if this is going to work, by the way. Okay, seems hard enough. Let's see if that can be released. <gasps> Ooh, now that is a partial cast, but it could be, honestly, good enough after I've cleaned up uh, this bit. It's not perfect, but it could work. Look at that. Clean that off. 
compare that to the actual key. Excuse my hands. But that, do you know what? It could work, it could work. Okay, here we go. Come on, just need to get you in the lock. Oh no, let's check the key. That works absolutely fine. And this should too. I don't know why it's not working as well as I want it to. <gasps> we got it open, look. It did work. Just uh, need to jiggle it a bit, but um, it does work. Look at that. So, what do we conclude? <laughs> um, if you want to make a casting putty out of toothpaste and baby powder, it does work given that you can make a nice clamshell like this and you can get a key. As far as melting things like uh, milk bottles and toothbrushes, I haven't figured out a way to do that sort of safely and consistently to give something which you could pour into one side, then the other side, then file both sides, glue them together, and then make a key. That's that's the only way I can think about doing it. Is this myth busted? Um, no, actually, I think it's plausible. I've got to bear in mind that prisoners have proven themselves resourceful. Have you ever seen programs on sort of uh, weapons and things that prisoners are made out of newspapers and underwear elastic? You'll know that if you give human beings enough time, um, they can do really quite amazing things you've never even thought of before. So do I think that it's plausible to be able to use a toothbrush, toothpaste and uh, a, a baby powder to, or talcum powder to, to cast the key, given that I don't know how a prisoner will get hold of a key in the first place, then yeah, I think it's very, very plausible. I couldn't quite do it, but I don't think that means that it can't be done. I just think that I probably don't have enough time, skills and resource myself to, to make it done. But this this weird toothpaste putty, surprisingly effective. Um, I'd probably, I sort of want to eat it, but no, that'd be a really bad idea. All right, look, if you like this video, leave a like. If you have a comment, leave one below. Any suggestions how to that I could improve this? Maybe I can do um, a second video exploring this idea. Uh, just drop a comment below or read them all and reply to as many as I can. If you like content like this, then please subscribe to see more and I'll see you all next time.